Hello everybody, I have a bit of a different video, um, we have been doing some redecorating here and I'm standing in front of a door as you can obviously see, but um, my husband has a pretty um, space taking hobby, so we decided to make room so that he can just have a um, room for himself um, and let's just go in and see what it is here is his um, couch that is not his hobby by the way just trying to close the door um, so, he um, collects video games and consoles. I can't say that I am a video game person. I have played some with him, but not much. So I can't say it interests me. We'll um, start by this poster. It's so big I can't get all of it, but it's um, a battlefield one. And it's really huge. I don't know who that is. Um, if you are a person that plays a lot of video games and are um, get triggered by amateurs, then this is a perfect video for you because I have no idea what I'm talking about. It's the battlefield hardline. I'll back up so you can see it. And this is a TV he uses for like the really old ones. Um, the really old video games and he finds the retro experience is better on an, on an old TV. Perhaps I'll open this one up one day. Um, and then there are some um, Xbox 360. I have no idea what number that is. Um, I'm not sure if I've uh, know any of these. Um, I remember Kane and Lynn's because it's sort of a um, oh, what is the word? Sort of a road game, I guess. Um, I know that Mirror's Eds is one of his favorites. Um, it used to be the top game, but now um, the Soul series, I've been listening to him, <laughs> but the Soul series are his favorite. He just got f um, finished Bloodborne and he didn't get the ending he wanted, so I've had to like listen to a lot about Bloodborne. But I can't say that I remember it. Um, here are some PS3 um, Assassin's Creed. I've, I've heard about that one. Um, he does like that one. Um, and here are some of the PS4s and the Xbox Ones. I know that those are new. And he doesn't have many yet. I asked his permission to do an ASMR video in here. And he was kind of weirded out because he doesn't understand it. He doesn't get ASMR. He's not a dreamer. He's very logical. I think you have to be sort of a dreamer to get ASMR. That is just 
the thesis. Um, I just found a FIFA. He does not play FIFA. If someone says he's a gamer and that he plays FIFA, my husband sort of just laughs. He does not consider that being a gamer, as you can see, he's, he's pretty hardcore. And here is um, the TV. He got the TV from our living room, so now we know we don't have a TV in the living room. We're trying to find a used one. And here is the PlayStation 3. I know how to find Netflix on this one. And here is an Xbox. Why doesn't it say? It's kind of dusty, but I'm not sure which one it is. I think it's the newest one because there are only three consoles on the top shelf, and I would, if I know him correctly, he would. He would put that on the top. It's dusty. But he's very sort of, um, he does dust this off very often. But these consoles, they are sort of like dust magnets. And here is the um, PS4, which I gave him when he finished his education. He is, um, oh, how do you say in English? He is a social educator, I believe. Um, where he helps people who are struggling to sort of fit into society and he loves his job well I might be recording a weird ASMR video but I'm, I'm also dusting his stuff off Just finish this one. Um, here is his Xbox 360. Oh, no, no. <laughs> Oops. And here is his Wii. Is it the Wii U one? I don't know. I think it is. I know that he probably wants to have the newest things here. And then there is the PlayStation 2. I used to have a um, PlayStation 2 when I was younger. Um, and I played Raymond. Here are some books and a collector's edition of Space Marine. I believe that was a gift from me too. Um, I usually just... He, he has a blog where he notes all of um, the games he has so I know what not to buy. Then the Legend of Zelda. He likes Zelda, but he is um, more of a um, Mario guy, I guess. And then the Atari book. He does have a lot of old shit. And then the Call of Duty and Gears of War. And Star Wars, The Force Unleashed. And then there's some book about Skyrim. And then Tomb Raider. He's a big Tomb Raider fan. Um, I try to tell myself it's because the game is good. Um, he also loves Sonic. Here is the history of Sonic the Hedgehog. I um, want to find a, a Sonic t-shirt. Buy it for him because he wears them all the time. Um, 
And here is um, the Soul series on sort of a shrine. Bloodborne, the newest one. He's like really impressed. But I, I guess they're sort of hard to play. I know I would give up right away. Then I um, made us Ed's book. I'm just going to show you some of the madness. He's got an old Jaguar. And he got the big um, Call of Duty Black Ops box. And an Atari at the top. And something, I don't know what this. I should know all of this because I've heard them like a million times. I'm just showing you, he keeps every box. So this is why it all takes so much space. And here are some old um, Nintendo games he doesn't have the box for. So he makes his own. He's like very um, particular when it comes to his games. It has to be in order. I'll just read some of them. Um, he is trying to get like every um, game in the Nintendo 64. Because I think it's the smallest platform. And he just wants to have like an entire um, collection. Here are um, Diddy Kong Racing Castlevania. He's talked a lot about that, but I can't remember how he was talking about it. Um, Super Star Wars, Super Mario World, Super Mario All Stars, um, Killer Instinct, Donkey Kong Country 2, and many other games. And here are the ones in the original boxes. I've heard a lot about Quake. But I sort of just listen with one ear. But some of it seems to stick. And on the top here there are again some Nintendo games. <clears throat> and down here are um, newer Nintendo games, some Fifas again, but I think he got like Fifas when he um, buys like the big boxes at um, flea markets, he's very big on flea markets. Here's um, The Legend of Zelda, The Wind Walker. Walker, <laughs> I don't know. He's got The Sims. Um, I play The Sims. Just got the newer version of um, The Sims 4, where they work. Not sure what it's called in English. That's how much of a gamer I am. I play The Sims and sort of dream away and pretend I'm living some other fantasy life. It's healthy sometimes, I guess. And here are some Wii games. Um, my daughter plays Wii now. She plays Mario and Mario Kart and he's very proud. And here we have some Game Boy Advanced games. Um, I can't say he uses these a lot. He might take one if you're going to Iceland on a plane or something. And here is um, a clear Xbox. He also has one right there. Um, and there are a couple of PlayStation 2s, I think. And then the first Xbox. If I'm saying something um, incorrectly, you're welcome to say so. He would want you to. I don't think he 
will be watching this video. I'm sitting on the floor, so I'm being loud, I'm sorry. Um, here are some... Um, I'm gonna get a bit closer. Um, here are some Danish um, game magazines. This is the newest one, of course, on top. Because it has the Bloodborne um, on the cover. I don't know why video games always have to be so violent. But it's got like a huge stack. Um, Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. I don't know if he has that one. And this does not look like something he would aim. I don't know. These are all probably new games. We are not made of money, so this is... Um, he has to sort of prioritize what he buys. And I would like to um, point out that he has been collecting these things since he was like 10 years old or something. So this is like 20 years of collecting video games. It's not like he just went out and bought it. I'm crawling on the floor again. Here are two of his hats. Um, this one he bought for himself. It's on like Donkey Kong. He is like um, obsessed with video games, so he has to represent. And this one I gave him like two Christmases ago. And he likes this one a lot because I think Nintendo is sort of um, his favorite. Here are some PlayStation 1 games, which he does not play a lot, so I don't think I've heard anything about them. And in the window there are some controllers. And then the Pride and Joy, he has a PlayStation 3 um, stand, like they have in the video game stores. When the PlayStation 4 came out, he realized that there would be a lot of these that would be left alone, so he like spent months on the phone getting one. I'm turning it on again. Stop blinking. Um, because I was like under strict orders not to ruin anything. <laughs> and this is not um, the console that is used. There is another one inside, so I think it's sort of cheating. And then the big flat screen, and he got it for free. Um, and up there is the Guitar Hero pack. Um, with every instrument, I think. And then there is the Nintendo GameCube, Master System 2, Nintendo NES, um, Sega Mega Drive 2, Sega Dreamcast, Sega Saturn, Super Nintendo, Sega Mega Drive, loose game cartridges, you even write it in English, some of it, um, Otron, Gematic, SNQ, Neo Geo CD, Atari 2600 Junior, <laughs> um, Sony PlayStation 2 Slim, Nintendo 64, Commodore, Am Commodore Amiga CD32, um, Mattel Electronics in Television, 
Atari 2600 Seiko Master System and there are some keyboards and, and loose stuff on the top um, he also makes his own um, Neo Geos which is what we are looking under all of these games um, this is oh my god I, ca I can't ruin these things this is um, the controller he made himself um, Neo Geo is a oh what is it called like a, a game you would play in a store back in that day like Pac-Man and stuff and he has like remade it so he can play it on uh, a TV and he has like um he's got an education with like building stuff <laughs> I can't even remember what it's called in Danish so he's like loves making his own things and here is another controller I think yes it has buttons on it and here is yet another controller like huge big box boxes And then here is the machine itself and he has metal slug in it. I think he built it to be able to play metal slug. I have no idea what it is. I don't think I watched him play it. And here is yet another controller. I have no idea what it's for. There's a Sega Saturn here and a lot of boxes a remote, a remote control for Xbox obviously don't know what you need that for but there are a lot of games here I'm not sort of just going to sort of slide over them quickly It's crazy, right? But it's 20 years, keep that in mind. He's like very, um, um, I don't know, into it. Here are the PlayStation 3 games. Um, I apologize about our squeaky floor. And mirror sets again. And here are some of his favorite boxes. Um, Wolfenstein, the New Order, Lara Croft, um, Temple of Oh Series, Child of Light, Tomb Raider again. Um, the Last of Us. I um, watched him play the first part of this one. It was sort of exciting, but I couldn't like <laughs> obligate myself to watch it every night, so I didn't get the ending. Um, Bioshock, Assassin's Creed, again, um, Prototype 2. Um, Oblivion, Raymond Origins, Gears of War 3, Gears of War 2, Final Fantasy 2, <laughs> um, there is Fable 3, and Catherine, um, I like the picture on this one, but I have no idea what it's about.
um, Call of Duty Modern Warfare Alan Wake Here is some Sega thingy And this is Splinter Cell Blacklist and Call of Duty MV3 so this was it guys, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, so yes, this is my husband's second wife. And I will um, talk to you guys soon. Bye bye.